Hi, let me introduce myself. My name is Nini Citra Pratiwi and you can call me Nindi. In this video, I want to tell you about the impact of learning from home. As we know, distance means nothing. The impossible is possible now. No need to meet if you want to meet face to face. Just like doing magic, you can do it now without having to get up from your position. Now, technology is very sophisticated. As long we have internet access, we can do anything. The same as study, during this pandemic, Indonesian government has issued policy to carry out learning from home. Every decision has consequence. Then, what are the consequences of learning from home? Of course, there will be positive impact and negative impact. During a pandemic progresses, we are encouraged to avoid activities that require meet with many people. This is very unfortunate indeed. But with learning from home, we can take some imp uh, positive impacts such as we don't have to spend the effort and transportation money to meet or go to campus. With this, we can cut travel time and we can use this time for the other activities such as relaxing or other more useful activities like exercise maybe. Learning from home tends to make us more relaxed and girls like me don't have to bother thinking about what kind uh, of outfit to wear to campus. As we know that self-confidence is important. When we wear clothes that are suitable and comfortable, we will feel more active and confident. Therefore, we don't need to be nervous and busy thinking about what clothes I should wear. Uh, but on the other side, uh, there is a negative impact from learning from home, like an unstable connection or network. It is a problem most experienced by college students, because not all college students have smooth internet access. Sometimes when learning takes place, we can be left out of Zoom or the lagging network. This is what causes the concentration to be scattered and disrupt the concentration of learning. Not only that, internet quota usage is also quite wasteful. Maybe for Wi-Fi user, this is not a problem, but for college students who are only rarely on quotas, of course, it will take up so much expenditure every day. I think learning from home is not efficient. This is because during the implementation, there were many disturbances that were not conductive in nature and the atmosphere at home was not supportive. Conditions at home that are not conductive often interfere interf with the effectiveness of learning. The sound that are generated uh, from around us are certainly a spare obstacle in learning because learning online learning uh, requires a deeper focus on understanding the material. Uh, it's different when we are in the classroom. Everything that exists must have the same goal, namely learning, right? Uh, direct learning is certainly different. We can more easily understand the material present. If we have difficulty, we can ask it directly. In class, we can also discuss among friends to discuss the material being taught. Another thing that hinders the effectiveness of learning from home is that we often feel sleepy and get bored quickly while studying. Learning from home uh, makes us more relaxed so that uh, the spirit is certainly different from learning face to face. Besides that, 
We will also account for this problem due to being too long in front of the laptop screens, like fatigue and a strain. When only online learning is taking place, we unconsciously have done to the wrong sitting position, such as a bent neck position and body bending forward. Maybe we don't really feel it, but it's consciously done, the information will definitely appear. Unconsciously, in, in a day, collect student will only sit front of the laptop and do the little other activities such as walking and even running. College students tend to sit the laptop while waiting for the next course. This can uh, also cause inflammation of the leg joints due to hanging too long. The lights that radiate from the laptop or computer screen also has a bad effect on the eyes. When we are too long in front of the laptop, we will feel blurred vision and even the head will feel dizzy. The eyes also become tired, dry, and can even cause irritation. Not only that, blue light can also cause sleep disturbance like insomnia. That's why we have to be smart in reducing the negative impact, such as improving posture while sitting in front of laptop screens, frequently resting the eyes by looking at distant objects, and adjusting the brightness of the desktop screen, and also resetting the sleep schedule by not opening the laptop or gadget before going to bed. We also need to manage our finance by giving priority to buy a good internet quota. And you should choose a quiet place during online class like bedroom. See, not only positive impacts, uh, but there are also many negative impacts from learning from home. So, uh, we have to do to do is keep the spirit of learning and more active in learning this, uh, despite the ongoing pandemic now. Maybe that is, enough, that is enough for me. Thank you for your attention and see you.